so I know my lighting is pretty weird, but what are you going to do? It's an apartment and a lamp. And right now it's snowing really badly in Ohio because that's what's up. Okay, so today I really wanted to talk to you about something that I discovered a while ago. It's actually been, I don't know, probably a, almost a year, I would say, that I've found out about this. And I've used it for a few months now and I really love it. It is the Eva Cup, also known as a menstrual cup or a period cup, all those things. And it comes in a pouch like this. And this is probably a really weird topic, but I mean, I really want people to know about it because it's amazing and I'll explain later why. So a Diva Cup is a period or blood catching device. Most likely, a lot of people probably don't really use it or know about it, but I love it. So I wanted to tell people about it. And what it is, it's this little cup like this. And I just use hand sanitizer, and this is sanitized as well. So it's just this little cup like this. This is actually a size too big for me, which I know is PMI, but, well, maybe it's not, I don't know. But it's a little bit too big for me because I ordered a size 1 and a size 2 came up. But I didn't want to have to wait to order it again, and I was just like, I mean, what's the difference? And I haven't noticed anything. Of course, I never used the number 1 before, but I feel as if this is fine. So... Like I said, this is used for that time of the month, your your period, and it's to be used instead of a tampon. Um, now, I used tampons for my whole life, since when I started my period at like age 14 or 15 or something like that I started, and I'm 24 now, so about 10 years, I've been using tampons and pads. And I still use pads, however, you can get the Diva Cup pads that are reusable as well they're like this I'm not really sure what they're made out of because I don't use them but my sister uses them and she absolutely loves them because of many reasons <laughs> um but I won't go into the the pads because I don't use those so I can't really speak for that but I will eventually I just I don't know I'm I'm kind of like I don't really, I'm not really good at ordering things online and that's where these came from was online I haven't found them in stores yet but I know that they have the cups that are reusable, but they're disposable after I don't know how long. But um, like I said, I use the Diva, I use the Diva cup, and I'm kind of scattered because I mean I didn't really want to make notes. I did, but I didn't really want to make like a note card. But let's just start off with what it's made of. This one that I have, that I know I don't know about any other ones, but this one is medical grade silicone, and it has these anti I don't know if it's antibacterial stuff in it. Um, but it's something that is this, almost like a self-cleaning product. So it, it doesn't keep a whole lot of germs. I don't really know. I'm not a professional at this. I'm just knowing what I've researched, but sometimes things get messed up in my brain. What are you going to do? So it's kind of like, I don't know if you can hear that. It's, I don't want to say it's plastic. It's not plastic, but I will refer to it as silicone or rubber. Because that's what it reminds me of is rubber. Which is not, that's not right. And that sounds gross, but... It's okay. And this is a pouch that is a breathable material because you are not supposed to store it like alone because it could collect stuff and you're not supposed to seal it in a bag or airtight area because it needs to breathe because it just, that's how it keeps it clean and all that. So it's made out of that silicone and at first I was like, well that is going to feel weird inside my body, but it really doesn't. It feels so good. At first it's a little weird, just like anything. Like when I, I remember when I got my first, when I used my first tampon, I was like, this is awkward. I feel weird. What is this in my body? And that was kind of the same thing at that, but only really the end. The tip of it felt really weird against my skin, but that was because I was still getting used to it. And you can trim these off if you'd like. But I won't go into a whole lot of details. I kind of just want to get the basics out there. Maybe I'll do like a longer, if this even gets viewed or whatever. Because there's like, there's so much stuff I can say about this. It's not even funny. Like, I could go, I could probably make an hour long video just about this one little product. But I just want to give the positives and negatives to this. Even though there's not very many negatives, there's a lot of positives. But I would say my main positives are um, it saves money. Um, oh, first of all, this was about, it was over $20, which seems like a lot for just one cup, but I've already paid for it 
like I've already, I don't know how you explain that, but if I were to buy a box of tampons every month, I've already saved money, if that makes sense. I don't know. I've had it for so long that it's paid for itself, basically. And you, this will last you five years, this particular cup, just the Diva cup that I have. Um, the last five years. And when you clean it, I should have said that first. You clean it by using a special Diva wash um, fluid that I don't have because I just use a it's non-scented, non-antibacterial soap to clean it up in between like the day that I'm using it. Like if today I was using it, when I took it out at night, I would take it, I would clean it down. But at the end and the beginning of my cycle, I boil it in hot water um, on the stove after I've cleaned it with the soap. I don't just like, you know, take it out and put it in there. That'd be disgusting. I um, mean, you can leave this in for 12 hours or however long you want. You can take it out at the end of the day, like an eight hour day, or you can take it out after a couple hours. It just depends on your body and your cycle. Um, I can leave this in for about 10 to 12 hours, depending on the day. Like if it's the first day of my cycle, I'll probably leave it in for 10. But if it's like the second and, and on, I can leave it in for 12. It doesn't, it doesn't leak and all that stuff. But back to the positives. It saves money. It's better for the environment. And it's better for your body. And I can get into those details more later. Um, how to use it? You just, there's certain ways that you can fold it up. I used to use it by doing this and folding it in like that and inserting it. But I found that that actually didn't work for me. I feel like I would always leak. And it might be because it's a little bit too big for me since it is the two. Um, the one is for people under 30 and who haven't had kids. And the two is for people 30 and up and who have had kids and or I'm not really sure but I, I mean like I said I don't want to have to worry about getting it done and this one is made in Canada so I had to ship from Canada so I don't want to worry about that anyways so now I found that if I just pinch this corner kind of down it makes this little I don't know what you would call it but it just goes in easier and it opens up like that inside of you and the way you can tell if it's all the way open is just when it's in your body, you stick your finger up, make sure you have short nails because that would hurt and get disgusting. You go inside your vagina and you make a circle like this and it just gets air in there just so that it's opened and, you know, it's not leaking. And I have only had one, like, leak experience when I use it like that. But before when I use it like this, it just wouldn't work for me. My sister is the opposite. She only likes it like this. But when she tried it like this, she had the leakage problems that I had when I used it like that. So it's just a preference. Um, I found out about it through my sister who is trying to be really natural. She uses not, um, natural soaps and all that crap. So she wanted to try this and she fell in love with it. At first, like I said, it was kind of weird for her, but that was the same with tampons for me. So, and, and it took me about one cycle to get used to it. Now it's like second nature to me. I absolutely love it. I can't I wish I started it the day I started my period the first day in my, for my whole life. Um, there's more that you can buy, but I don't really want to get into that. I just want to stick with this. There's different brands. There's different things you can use for your cycle. I want to talk about the absolute worst thing about tampons is the material that's used. It's mostly rayon and cotton or a mixture of both is what I found online. I mean, that was just one thing I found. And... It absorbed your period, your blood. It absorbed it. And that absorbent factor is really bad for your body. And I know um, this is really, really personal. But I'm going to just put it out there so that everyone knows. I could not go to the bathroom, either number one or number two, without changing it. Because the string would get in the way and like it would just get nasty and I, I can't handle that. And think about how many times a day you go to the bathroom. You can go a lot of times of the day. And... You know, you don't fill up a tampon every hour or whenever you have to go. So I had to take out that tampon and it was dry and that hurt my skin in my vagina. That hurt bad. So that's what I like about this. One, I don't have to take it out when I go to the bathroom. It's completely clean. I use baby wipes sometimes just to make sure it's clean and I don't have to take it out. And even if I did have to take it out when it wasn't full, it just glides out. This material glides against your skin and it doesn't hurt. It doesn't pull. It just feels so much better than that cotton ripping against that sensitive part of your of your body. That's not fun. It's dangerous, and I don't like it. Some other things that I do love about this, besides the things that I mentioned before, is that you don't ever have to put a tampon in the trash. I know that's disgusting that people do put it in the trash. I do because my plumbing isn't good enough to put it in the toilet 
tampons. But this, you, when you take it out, at first it's a little bit awkward to take it out and like, you know, figure out how not to spill it. But now it's like, like it's nothing to me. It's nothing to take it out and just dump it out. You dump it out and then everything's out and it's, you can, um, carry a water bottle with you in a public restroom to rinse it out and all that stuff. Um, but I just, you know, reach over my sink and rinse it out. And I know that's disgusting, but I mean, I, I clean my bathroom regularly, so it's not gross to me. And it's my, it's my fluids. It's whatever. Um, so yeah, I just clean it like that and reinsert and I'm good to go. Um, so you don't ever have to put it in the trash. There's no smell like in the trash can. That's disgusting, but there's no smell. And this itself keeps me clean and fresh down there. And I don't have that period scent. We all know what that is. Um, let's see. Um, I don't have nighttime accidents. I used to with tampons sometimes depending on my cycle. If I didn't use the right tampon or the tampon just is not feeling good. Um, let's see. Um, oh, like I've used it going like swimming and stuff like that. It's amazing for that. Amazing. And the best part is like when I take a shower in the morning after it's been in all night, it's the best because it's been in for like eight hours and I can just take it out in the shower, clean it up and it's just perfect. It doesn't create any mess and it doesn't take any extra time than putting in a tampon because you have to open it, you know, and get it in there and wash your hands, all this crap. Like this takes not any, if not less time. Um, I don't want to go into like how it's, I might could make another video about the actual structure, but I just want to talk about my experience. For me, it's just amazing. I just... I feel so much healthier when I wear it instead of a tampon. I don't have to worry about, oh, how long has it been in? Or is it going to leak? You know, like, is my tampon leaking right now? I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, I didn't bring enough tampons for the day. Nope, this is a 12-hour day thing that doesn't absorb the period blood, so I'm not worried about those other chemicals. This collects it, and you just dump it. And at first, I really thought it was going to be disgusting, but I'm not really grossed out that easily, so it was no, it was, it was no big deal. So, and I would say the only negative is getting used to it is difficult, but like I said, that's nothing. I got used to it in one cycle and I was fine. And then the other negative is that it's kind of expensive, but to invest just 25 bucks is perfect because you're going to spend that in a couple of months anyways on tampons and pads. Oh, I don't really need to use pads, but sometimes if I don't feel like putting it in during the nighttime, I just wear a pad. Um... Like I said, I'm, I haven't gotten the, the Diva pads yet, but I want to. Um, let's see. I don't need to wear panty liners. I can if I want, like just in case, but I don't really need to because I don't really like panty liners. Like I used to wear a panty liner and a tampon. That was annoying. Like, why did I put this tampon up me if I need to wear a panty liner because I'm going to leak? These are all just personal preferences. Maybe you don't leak with tampons. That's nice, but I always did. I just, maybe I wasn't using them correctly. I don't know, but... I love these and I don't have to worry about wearing, you know, I used to wear a tampon and a pad sometimes at night because sometimes my period is heavier at night and I would have to wear like spandex and then shorts over them just so I felt secure. I don't have to worry about that with my, with this Diva Cup. So, but my absolute favorite thing about this Diva Cup is I don't have to take it out every time I go to the restroom. That is my, I think that's the top three is I don't have to take it out. I don't have to put any tampons in the trash or worry about my plumbing. So yeah, that's like, that's just like the best things about it. And I could go on and on and on, like I said, about how it's made, where you can get it and all that stuff. But I just wanted to tell you like my experience with it and how much I fell in love with a little cup that you can be discreet with. And like this bag is so cute. They send you like a little tiny bag, has a little pin and everything. And um, yeah, the shipping was good. I don't really want to go into the companies because there's a bunch of companies that make them, but yeah, so that's my story about the Diva Cup, and I know it's a lot of TMI, but, you know, there's a lot of women out there, and a lot of women have periods, and a lot of women probably hate their periods. Now, with my Diva Cup, I'm down to have my period. I do not mind it. I would go as far as I'd, I, I kind of like my periods now, especially compared to the past when... It was awful and horrifying and disgusting. And now it's a breeze. I don't care about it. It's just another day. So I hope you guys all enjoy this and love the Diva Cup as much as I do.